you know what, bro? Like, it's, it's creepy as hell back here, and I'm not trying to be back here all night. So we just need to find whatever she is, and we need to just make sure I, she don't interfere in the match. I think she's a monster. You're probably right. Let's, let's go somewhere else. Let's, yeah. Russo's got us tagging together in the ring, okay? Mm -hmm. When we're not in the ring, stay away from me. Away from you? Away from you? For your information, mister, I have more experience in this business than you. I have been on shows for... Ooh! It looks like I was a good kid just yet, because Santa left me not one but two men tied up underneath the tree. What the... You want to quit standing there and come and help us hey. out? Idiot. Don't stand there like an idiot. Let me out. Stop. Stop. Idiot. All right, well, I'm going to see you in our match later. I'm going to chill with these two for a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rocky Mountain Pro. We are starting things off on the season finale of Charge with the Rocky Mountain Pro Tag Team Championship Ooh. matchup. It's going to be a big one here tonight. There will be a brand new set of tag team champions. Of course, Zero Cool taking on Warden Cadence. I can't say his name. Warden Cadence. Warren, Warren Cadence. W A R R A N. And Dwayne Douglas, who, as we've seen in the last couple of weeks, tagged because Russo made them, not because they love each other. Is that enough to win the belts here tonight? I don't know. You got to be on the same team. The operative word is tag team is team. These two have been able to work together okay. Dwayne Douglas is straight and narrow. He is, he is in the Air Force. Active duty, mm -hmm. yes sir, no ma'am, no ma'am, no sir, yes ma'am, depending on the situation. He is straight and narrow, and then you've got the polar opposite of him, his tag team partner, Warren Kane, the most colorful individual we have here in Rocky Mountain Pro. Now this is going to be a great match here tonight, of course, Zero Cool. We all saw how the show went for them last week, but that was kind of interesting. They had a nice run-in with Unholy Trinity backstage. Air guitar going on, these two last week got tied up by Angel Trinity, or I'm sorry, Unholy Trinity. Yeah, not she's not an angel anymore, anymore, no sir. Now, do you, do you think it's going to be awkward with Warren in there, winking at these guys since he was left alone with them while they were tied up last week? It is always awkward with Warren in there, no matter what's going on. Two cool dudes. Now, let me remind everybody out there, these guys are former tag team champions. The disqualification rule came into play when we decided to throw out to, to throw out the old if you get the title can't change hands on a disqualification. Well we made it where it could change hands. Steven Ashburn and Tyler Stinson were the tag champions at the time. Uh -huh. Steven Ashburn lost his mind when he kind of started this psychotic role of his. I remember. They lost the title to two cool dudes when that happened, when he got those two disqualified. These two trying to become two-time Rocky Mountain Pro tag team champions. And I gotta say, I gotta be honest with you, that is something I never thought I would say even one time. <laughs> Again, it's the season finale of Rocky Mountain Pro. Big Rob, Matt Yaden. Man, it feels good to be here. The Rocky Mountain Pro Quarry is fired up tonight. This is gonna be an amazing two-hour finale. Unbelievable, we are, we are bringing this first season to a close. What a first season it's been, trials, tribulations. So much has happened that we have, that we have endured, that we have overcome, and I am excited to bring you the season finale of Rocky Mountain Pro Charge. Here we go, lock it up now. I should say we are bringing it to you, not I'm bringing it to you. It's all about you, Yaden, around here, okay? Come on, let's go, boys. Told you it's always awkward, no matter what he does. Twerking oh, stops man. not I, too cool Dustin Yurick right in his track. I got to tell you, I don't know that I would want to. What are those pants called? Oh, man, I don't know. It's something that I would never wear. Zumbas? Zubaz, <laughs> Zubaz, Zubaz. They're, they're, they're one step away from assless chaps. There he goes, Warren Cadence with a nice close leg getting this match finally underway. He's all about this man-on-man -man contact, I think. There he is. What a cartwheel. Oh! Cartwheel splash, elbow combination. To, oh, already got a two count. Boy, really hit him with that. Dustin Urich, not sure where he is right now. Very unorthodox style by Warren Cadence. Tries to throw that line again. Oh, and he caught it. Rolls it around and a big clothesline. Give me your pick for this match. Who's going to be the new tag team champions? You watch both of these teams for months. You know what? The best athlete is Dwayne Douglas in this. He works very hard at the Mercury for us in Academy. He puts in, he puts in the time. Not to take anything away from the other gentleman who also trained very hard. But I think 
despite the difference of styles and, and, and kind of the fact that Dwayne Douglas is incredibly annoyed by Warren Cadence, I, I just, I could see uh, Zero Cool doing something to cost them this matchup. Uh, so I, I'm going to go with, um, I think that Warren Cadence and Dwayne Douglas. What about you? You know, and I was kind of leading the same way, mostly because the odd couples are sometimes the best couples, as we've learned in the wrestling business. But obviously, you can't count out two cool dudes. They have won before. I don't care how you win it. A win is a win. Big elbow there by Zero Cool 2. And a kick out now by Warren Caden. So kind of back and forth to start things out here. This Rocky Mountain Pro Tag Team Champion. And this is how we do it at Rocky Mountain Pro Charge. We fired up with a tag team title match where it guarantees a new tag team champions. Absolutely going to see new tag champions tonight now. They headlock applied by Zero Cool. Looks like he's trying to pin his shoulders down, trying to end this thing right here. But Warren Caden's able to get that right shoulder up. Working back up to his feet now. Oh, man. A little show of strength there by Warren Caden's, and he kind of slaps him across the belly. Into the ropes now. He needs to, oh, there's the booty bump. He's got to get Dwayne Douglas in this match. No question about that. Looks like there was a tag there by Dustin Urich. Oh. was not seen. A big flapjack now. He definitely did not see that tag. You know how I know? Because I didn't see that tag. Oh, I saw that tag, Big Rob. You got to pay attention ah. to the top rope now. Did we see this elbow coming up? Oh, look, oh. the splash. No, sir. No, sir. Nobody home. Warren Cage now crawling over to his corner. Needs to get a tag. Dwayne Douglas, hand outstretched. Rest got the count going, and a tag is made. We got a tag, here comes Dwayne Douglas in the match, and he's fresh and he's rested, first time in the match. Oh, big clotheslines. On fire. Opportunity to become tag team champions of Rocky Mountain Pro, Dwayne Douglas. Backing up Zero Cool into the corner now to send him across. And oh, oh, he went for it again. It was like hitting a brick wall. Posterior to the face. Oh. We got one. Do we have new tag of champions? And we do. Holy cow. You called it right there. Unbelievable. And you agreed with me. So give yourself some credit. All right. All right. High fives. Here we go. New I think it all. I know it all. Champions in Rocky Mountain Pro, Warren Cadence and Dwayne Douglas. Wow. That is how you kick off Rocky Mountain Pro Charge. There is no wrestling program like this on Monday nights. There just isn't. No, there isn't. And then when he's hype, oh, wait a minute. What is, what is Filter doing here? Filter now. Got a nice corduroy suit on, doesn't he? He's got a habit of choke slamming people. He is Out of huge. Note, he is one giant. Six, seven, six, eight. Oh, man. Setting up. Dwayne Douglas for a ride. Look how high he got him oh, up in the air. Welcome. Congratulations on your title win. Let me thank you with a choke slam. Holy smokes. Now he's got Warren Canes. Warren Canes up. Oh. Uh -oh. Choke slams him right down to the canvas. And now he's going for two cool dudes. He's both at the double. same time. There he goes. Double oh, choke slam. Oh, man. He, he threw them down so hard, he fell himself. This man is a giant, and in that ring, he just he looks like he's seven feet tall. He is dang near close to that. Now, does this smell like Vince Russo to you, Big Rob? I mean... Everywhere Filter, we know that these two are connected. But Vince Russo grabbed Filter because I believe he was terrified that Tyler Stinson was going to kill him. And since that moment... We've seen that. I know the security in the ring. Well, what's interesting is why security comes out now and not when Filter was attacking all three. Maybe they were dealing with something else outside in the lobby. I don't know. I, 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 I tell you, it smells like that's how, like a, that's a Vince Russo thing. Yaden, come on now, open up your eyes. You know it's true. Filter's sunglasses came off. I think that's the first time we've seen his eyeballs. Oh, he's got some pretty eyes, doesn't he? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have started out with new tag team champions yes. for the Rocky Mountain Pro season finale of Charge. We have more action coming up next. Vince! Hey! Hey! Hey, how you doing? Doing oh, yeah. good, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Remember me? Yeah, yeah. We've, we've, yeah, we've been around, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. allow me to reintroduce myself. Yeah. I am the most important star that you have I on this roster. And today, I, I found my boss laid out in the yeah. back. I, I found him laid out in the back. And? What are you going to do about it? And? You know what? You know what? Matter of fact, matter of fact, it had WCW 2000 written all over. In the quarry, and what a night it has been already, Big Rob. I don't know how much more I can handle. No, it's been a crazy night so far. We've got two new champions. We've got new tag team champions. We got a new Lock Edge champion. Ali Gata was not pinned in that match, by the way. She was counted out. So she's not going to be very happy about it.
What's happening here? I have no idea. What is going on? The music, it's Dwayne Douglas's music. He's not scheduled to be out here. No, he's not. The There's the new tag team champions right there. Let's open up the show this evening, ladies and gentlemen. New tag team champions, Warren Cates and Dwayne Douglas. And Dwayne Douglas now coming to the ring. What are they doing out here? Cut the music. Cut the music. Yes, up to say. Filter? Who the hell do you think you are? Well, that's a good question. You're going to come out here and choke slam me and my tag team partner? Oh, no. That's not how it works. You are messing with the wrong non-commissioned officer in the United States Air Force. That does not happen to me. He's telling him how it is. So I'll tell you what. I'm not leaving this arena tonight until I can get my hands on you. He wants filter. I'll give I don't know. you. So I'll give you and your big ass to the count of three to get out here now. I don't know either. Filter's a big man. Or I can just come back there and find you myself. Wayne Douglas is not choking around right now. He really wants filter. One! And the count begins. Two! And the two, Big Rob. Is he going to answer the challenge? Three! Apparently not. Nope. Wait a minute. Well, hold on. What's going on here? It's Vince Russo's music. The filter and followed by Vince Russo, who asks for the microphone. Apparently he has something to say you know, back. You oh. with all due respect, and I do respect you, and all these people in this building respect you for serving this country in the Air Force. That's true. Nothing but respect. But I gotta tell you one thing, so I'm not gonna call the shots around here. That's my job. And people need to understand all filter is here He's not a wrestler, he's not on the contract, but you are on the contract, Sarge, and you are the Rocky Mountain Pro Tag Team Champion, half of that team. So what you need to do is worry a little bit more about those titles and this company than Filter, and as a matter of fact, when's the last time you two guys defended those titles? Uh, did they just win him tonight? Defended them at all. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll put an end to that mystery because you're going to defend them tonight. Wow. Right here, gentlemen, if you will. They just won them like three matches ago. Four matches. They won them tonight. He's already making them defend them? What kind of a question was that? You know, calling out Filter was probably not a good idea. That's Vince's guy. And you know, this whole Filter thing, he bounces ideas off of him. How many times do you think Filter actually says, I don't like that idea? Well, here comes Humphrey Jacobs the first, and now Curtis Cole's music too? This is who they're fighting right now? Are these guys even a team? Apparently they are. This is what he had in store for these two earlier. This is what he was alluding to. Like Curtis's hair is looking spunky tonight, ain't it? Cute little pigtails there by Curtis Cole. Very interesting uh, individual, to say the least. This, this, I, this might be something here. Russo might have something with these two. Do you think he ran this idea by Filter? Contest is for the Rocky Mountain Road I would say yes. So if it doesn't go well, he will blame Filter. Absolutely. But if it goes well, he'll take all the credit. For it. That's what bosses do. That's how Vince Russo rolls. It. You don't have a boss like though. I guess you're your own boss. <laughs> Did he just name himself Curtis Jacobs II? <laughs> and their opponents, your defending Rocky Mountain Pro Tag Team Champions, Warren Cannon and the show, Dwayne Douglas. Well, there's your champions right now already being forced to defend the match here tonight. Well, I thought we were about to watch Rolls Royce Isaacs and Hoodlum go at it, but apparently we get another tag team. How many times, how many shows do you see two tag team title matches on the same night 
especially when they just won it earlier on. They started the show by becoming the new Rocky Mountain Pro Tag Team Champions. Well, I have to say, normally I would say that, you know, this two, this team obviously was just thrown together. Curtis, Co I'm sorry, Curtis Jacobs, the second, the second, and Humphrey Jacobs, the first. But the fact that Curtis Cole, on his own accord, there's the bell, on his own accord changed his last name and called himself the second, shows this, this unity that they, I don't know, maybe they have a chance. I mean, they are two of the fastest rising stars here in Rocky Mountain Pro now tagging up against the tag team champions. Well, I tell you what, it's going to be tough to beat Curtis Jacobs the second and Humphrey Jacobs the first here tonight, especially after the fact that they already had an amazing match earlier with two cool. Absolutely. you got to say, you, you got to think that the, the favorites in this, normally you're going to go with the champions, yes. they're going to be your favorites, but they have been worn down already. It wasn't that long ago that they were in there competing with two cool dudes. So they've already been worn down, and now they're going in against Humphrey Jacobs the first and Curtis Jacobs the second, who are who are fresh. They, they, have, they have not wrestled tonight. Curtis Jacobs the second thing is totally throwing me off here, Yaden. A lot of torque there on that <laughs> wrist lock by Warren Cates. Took Curtis Cole over, but he is able to get that foot up into the midsection of Warren Cates, and now tagging in Humphrey Jacobs up first. Man, Humphrey Jacobs just towers over Dwayne Douglas, doesn't he? He does. Dwayne Douglas trying to figure out where he was going there, and the power of Humphrey Jacobs the first. Taking over, he's holding him up there. All that's, the blood rushing to the head. That's of 10 Wayne seconds. Brings oh. him down. Big stalling suplex there by Humphrey Jacobs the first. I have a 10 year old daughter. I couldn't hold her in that position for 10 seconds. That takes some strength. He is a strong individual, a high caliber athlete. You know what? I could probably hold her for 10 seconds. I'm going to give myself a little more credit than I just discredited myself. Yeah, don't be so hard. <laughs> Into the corner now. With Dwayne Douglas across the ring and a big clothesline there. And we, we've talked about it before. When you get clotheslined in the corner, you have nowhere to go to soften that blow. Snapmare takeover into this chin lock. Wearing him down like this. Dwayne Douglas already looks tired. Warren Cadence is in the side. He's in his corner saying, let's get a tag. Humphrey Jacobs, though, had a pretty solid lock on. I don't know why he would let him go there. Maybe to set him up for some more punishment. I don't know how wise that was, but they're still in control. Boy, and they are working like a well-oiled tag team here tonight. For never partnering together, they've got this thing figured out. Double Garvin stomp by the Jacobses. Can we call them the Jacobses? I like that. that Jake, Jacob Square. The Jacobs. The Jacobs. <laughs> it always confuses me how you add an S on the end of an S. Uh, well, you to at the end of the you S do, or something. Yeah. The Jacobs. It never sounds right. No. Like Chris's. Curtis, Jacobs. Curtis's. Jacobs the second there with a vertical suplex now. One, two, and a kick out by Dwayne Douglas. Back into a chin lock. Boy, this crowd is fired up here tonight. Are they wanting to tag? Oh, Whoa, he just got quickly, he got around on that swing and neck breaker. That was a great move and he needed that bad. Now what he's got to do is get over into the corner and tag in his fresh partner. Warren Cadence is ready to come in and take over. But Curtis Jacobs the second isn't having that. I'll tell you what, man, it was, this tag team was expressly put together. I mean, it was quick. Well, I don't know, oh. the Jacobs is or the Humphrey Jacobs is old school, maybe the Mile High Express or something. <laughs> Either way, they are in firm control of this matchup here. Could we see the Tag Team Championship change hands? The way that these two are working together, I think that there's a pretty good chance. So, there's a potential on the season finale of Rocky Mountain Pro Charge that we could see the Tag Team Chia twice, twice, two new teams as Tag Team Champions. That makes plus, sense. plus, together. plus a new Lock Edge champion, plus the potential of a new Rocky Mountain Pro champion. Big spine buster there by Humphrey Jacobs. Of course, that match is still coming up, and the loser leaves town match tonight between Mario Vanger and Sam Udell. So much happening here tonight. Staying on that arm. One, we got two, and the kick out there. Wayne Douglas. Now fighting back, 
Kick to the midsection. Pulls him in. Moving quick. Power bomb. Quick power bomb, but not able to follow up. He's really taken a lot of punishment over the last few minutes. Desperation power bomb there by Dwayne Douglas. Now look, Warren Caden's getting the crowd into it. They are they are fired up. Tags him in. Here he comes. Big clothesline by Warren Caden's. A little too much celebrating, though. Absolutely, that's a huge mistake. Big oh. spinning spine buster. And just like that, they're shut right back down. And the Jacobses are back in control. You know, that's a little hard to say. We're going to have to work. I like Mile High Express. You like that a little bit better? It is kind of old school. It's very okay. 80s. I think you would like that. Lots of great Express so teams up, in the 80s. Setting up Curtis Cole here. What is happening? Throws him into that wow. blockbuster. Curtis Cole now going for the pin. One, two, could we sit three? Wow. New Rocky Mountain Pro Tag Team Champions again. again. Twice in one night. And I have never seen anything Rocky like this. Pro Tag Team Champions. Well, in professional wrestling, all, all, all my time doing it, watching it, we, had, we started the show with new tag team champions from the, from the vacated championships and then they were forced by Vince Russo to defend them like four matches later on the wow. same episode and now we have newer tag team champions. I got to assume that Dwayne Douglas is pretty upset at himself for coming out and challenging Filter, challenging Vince Russo's Look, guy. Curtis Cole tried to do the pose there. I don't think I don't think Humphrey Jacobs the first really liked that, but either way, they do like the fact that they are Rocky Mountain Pro Tag Team Champions. Ladies and gentlemen, what else could happen here tonight? We still have a Rocky Mountain Pro Championship matchup with more than just championship implications. Absolutely. The loser leaves the company. Who, who are you putting your money on right now, Yaden? Who's it going to be tonight? Uh, you know what? I think Sam Udell has just got a fire in him. He has been angry over the last several months, and I don't know if he will ever get over the fact that Vince Russo stripped him of that title. He's going to come at Mario Vandra with more fear than I think he's ever seen. Wait a minute. We've got Filter back in the ring now. Here we go again. Big choke Another slam. Another choke slam. Warren Caden's just, just watching. What are What's you doing, he doing, man? I think he's terrified. Rightfully he so. And that is a nice corduroy so, jacket. So to add insult to injury, he's called out by Dwayne Douglas, doesn't get that. They have to defend their titles, they lose their titles, and he gets chokeslammed by Filter anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, up next, we still have what we thought we were going to see here, and yeah. that's Rolls Royce Isaacs and Hoodlum. That's coming up next on Rocky Mountain Pro Charge. You're like the champion booker here, so do me a favor and champion book me a match. I haven't had one in five weeks. You need to remember who you're talking to. You need to remember who you're talking to. How about that, huh?